This is a teardown of a Cisco ASA 5525X adaptive security appliance, firewall, what you want to call it. And take a little peek under the hood here. Oh no. I'm going to strip out the screws on the rack here, which would be a problem because people like buying these from me. <laughs> I thought I tore one of these apart on camera previously, but I can't find the video, so doing it again. I have tore several of these apart though before off camera, so there's that. This rack here on the side is being stubborn, it's stuck on. There we go. A little extra paint on there, I guess, I don't know. So, it's a little bit nicer than some of the other ones that I've tore apart. Let's see what we got from memory here. We've got two sticks of 4 gig DDR3, I'm guessing. And it is just regular ECC. Nine chips in all. This is a storage accelerator module, if I remember correctly. I did tear another one of these apart earlier, um, off camera, and then a little PCIe riser card. I believe that's at least what this is. I think this allows you to add more network ports through a network card. Oh. A little SATA cable. And we got power for backplane for the uh, SATA drive, which I'm assuming is for storing logs. And the interesting thing about this is it doesn't get any direct airflow because the fans are back here pushing air so it must suck enough airflow through the case in general just from displacing the volume of air to keep this warm but it also does have a fairly substantially heavy copper heat sink on it has to be copper at least it's it's pretty solid um i'm just looking you can tell the uh i think the word for it is skeeving basically they take a metal blade and they scrape the copper. Um, Trying to think of a way. The, the the these fins are made by scraping the copper in the same way as if you were to uh, scrape a bit of butter with a butter knife. So you kind of go over the surface, but you dig into it just a little. And as you're going, the material curls up, and that's how you get these fins. And uh, basically that little radius there on this side is where the blade was pushing um, the metal upwards. Until I recently found that out, I don't know how long I've known about now, I think maybe at least a year, but I always thought these were sawed. Because um, I don't think you can extrude copper like aluminum. But nope, they're just it's just uh, pushing the material up and folding it flat, basically. So kind of neat. Uh, let's see if there's anything interesting under this modules chip. I don't remember who makes that circle. I don't think it's the micron circle because the micron circle has an M in it. SLK and Z sounds like an Intel part number. I'll have to look that up off camera. I feel like if it were Intel, though, it would be Intel branded, too. Oh, that's not my problem. And I got thermal compound all over me. Oh, they use nice stuff, at least. It's not all hard and dry. It's... Dang it. 
Nice and goopy. I'm just gonna wash my hands and come back. Well, decided to look this up while I was washing my hands, and I don't know. Don't know what an SLKNZ is, so. Might not be the actual part number. <laughs> but, oh well. Interesting thing about this is it is basically a custom PC motherboard. So, this is LGA 1156. If I remember right. Basically, first generation i series. Not too much stuff in my way. And this comes with an AC Bell power supply that is such and such number of watts. Where is it? Um, 360 watts total. Let's see here. I'm going to pull the heat sink. Ooh. Expose the CPU. As I strip out. I don't know. It's fine. I'm bad all on my Harbor Freight. Um, drill bits. This is softer than some screws. But not all screws. Some screws are of such low quality, they'll just eat them alive. We got a CPU right here. It's an Intel Xeon X3430. 2.4 gigahertz, 8 meg. I guess dual core. A lot harder to do teardowns on camera because I got a camera on my face and I can't just violently rip on stuff. Also, I'm not wearing gloves. Don't feel like slicing my hand open on a PCB. I've done that before, it hurts. Got the little SATA backplane board thing here. Selling the majority of the parts out of this, except for the motherboard and the uh, expansion card and some of the front I.O. Alrighty. So, here's the motherboard. to see this uh, part of it seems to be just bog standard and motherboard stuff and then got a cadmium chip there doing probably firewall stuff boot flash basically a USB flash drive oh, that's interesting an avo sent sticker there don't they do I think they do KVM stuff don't they oh and bond uh, PLX chip there, and then we got a bunch of Intel network chips. Um, probably all just individual gigabit network controllers. And they're probably all feeding off that PLX chip. I don't know if I can get that readable. Yeah, the lighting's just not conducive. And the focus doesn't want to play nice. See if I can read that tiny text in my own eyes. WG82574L. So there's nine of those. Interesting. And I don't expect to see any on the bottom. It's all just, whoops, gotta zoom out. Passives, pins, CPU socket support. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, interesting enough. 
got a couple fans to remove still that I can sell, hopefully. The interesting thing is, is some of this stuff is so old now that I don't know why people buy parts for it, but if they do, I'm not going to complain. But, uh, yep, so that's basically it for goodies. Let's see if this come out. in there. Nope, those don't come out. But uh, yeah, hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.